Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the Hyatt House. It is our countdown to Christmas and uh, another episode for you. Uh, we're making one of our favorite, just a favorite snack, not necessarily a Christmas snack, but it's, it's one of our faves. Uh, we're gonna make some. I don't know how you're gonna do this. Uh, we'll figure it out. We're gonna make some Buckeyes. And the cool thing is, we just got a really cool chocolate melting machine um, from Amy's aunt. She used it for years in making all sorts of chocolate treats and desserts for their restaurant. And um, that was Asher screaming for something. But um, it's really cool because it heats the chocolate and melts it and then keeps the chocolate moving so that you can dip or pour or use the chocolate without it hardening up. And if you remember our Thanksgiving um, uh, street vlogs that we did, we had a hard time with the chocolate. We had to keep microwaving it. So this is a really cool thing to do. And so uh, we're gonna share it with you and make some Buckeyes for Christmas. And just look at this. It's chocolate swirling around. And it's super cool. It's crazy loud, but here's what you do. You take your melting chocolate, right? You drop it in on this side, and then it slowly melts on that side, and then comes over on this side. Look at that. That is such a cool little thing there. And I'm sure that was probably really loud for you. So, all right, Jakey, are we ready to do this? I'm gonna put them on that. All right, so mom, Amy, already made up the Buckeye peanut butter balls. We're gonna use these super cool little prongs. Touch, dip, place. Stick, dip, place. Got it? Those are there. This is actually smaller than this one. Yes. So fit all of them. Yes. And these ones, this pan. I know what she's saying. I'm just messing with her. So, you ready to do this? I'll sure. let you do one, do a little test one, and we'll see how long it works. Remember, a Buckeye has to have a little. I don't want it to like lose it though. I don't think you will. A lot of chocolate, why it trip? Let it trip for a little bit. It's like sliding. All right, that's what it is, and that's what we're gonna do. So let's have some fun making some butt guys.
So clearly, Brea has way more experience doing this than I do. I mean, look at all of hers. I mean, look at this. Look how good of a job she does. And these are mine. She's way faster and way better. I've been doing it since I was three. True statement. Mommy has been good about bringing Brea into the kitchen and teaching her stuff and getting her helping with all sorts of baked goods and, and all that kitchen fun. Just watch your sleeve on that. Make sure you're not. So, in case you're wondering, this machine is called this. It's the, yeah, I love the name of this. Let me zoom in here. It is called Sensation Chocolate Maker by, I'm not sure who it's by. Hold on. It's like a French chocolate thing. Oh, that is really unfocused. Well, I'm not sure. It's so, like a French or like some, some, some name. Let's check the manual and see what the manual says. Uh, who's it by? Chandre? Chandre. Chandre? Chandre? I don't know, but Sensation Chocolate Maker. I don't know how old this is. Me neither. Like, I mean, it's Well, and that might be either because it's old or it's just always been a loud machine. Yeah. I'm running out of pants, but So, cool thing. Can't find a date on it anywhere. But, uh, really think this is a cool, a cool little machine that's allowed us to uh, do our Buckeyes pretty quick this year. Yeah. I mean, does it usually take this this quick? No. It takes a lot longer. Because we have to keep heating up the chocolate. Yeah. We didn't use palettes. Yep. And did you have to like use a spoon or something to like dip them in? And... No, we actually used these, but it was a lot harder because the chocolate was moving. So like we were using like we were like trying to like get the chocolate all the way up. Yeah. So, well, Bray did a great job. She just about filled her tray. Sad thing is, we are just about out of chocolate. We are out of chocolate. We have like so, a little bit left now. Whatever's left in there, Open that's up. what we've got left. But here's the other fun thing about this is we are now a week and was it, a week and a half from Christmas approximately, give or ten take. More days. Christmas is ten more days away. And uh, we still have a nice long list of things that we want to do. Uh, as part of our Christmas traditions. We have to make gingerbread houses. We haven't made those yet. Yep. We've got gingerbread houses. We've got uh, reindeer chow. We've got... Uh, ooh. We wanted to discuss our top 10 Christmas movies. Oh, yeah. And we have a really fun cereal. Oh. Video. Yes. And uh, did you know they make holiday cereals, Christmas cereals. We're gonna have a Christmas uh, Christmas cereal taste test. Uh, we'll probably, we should probably do that really soon. But we picked up some of these these Christmas flavored uh, cereals and we're gonna we're gonna do a taste test. But, but I think it's about as far as we're gonna get tonight. But look how good these look. They look like they look like Buckeyes. They look like what you would go to a chocolate store and buy. We just made. They look amazing. Yeah, because I'm freaking awesome. When can we eat them? When they're dry. We can't eat them as they're. No, because it's. No. Well, I think we're just about done here. Oh no, oh no. you using up the very last little bit of chocolate here. We're going to have to make a run to the local store to get some more melting chocolate to finish the rest of these. And to do all of the other, like we wanted to do the Santa pretzels. Oh, we've got Santa pretzels, Santa chow, the reindeer chow. We've got, we've got at least 10 yeah, more, 10 more us. videos that we want to do between now. Well, here's the deal. We didn't plan to have them every night. We only planned for one or two a week. But we're also um, very busy because it's December and yeah. Yeah, for sure. But here's the deal. 
like we've planned this to go through the Christmas break. Yeah. So some of these things, like we'll do during Christmas break as well. And I have two weeks, two and a half weeks off of right. Christmas break. Right. So. so Christmas Eve is Thursday. I am putting together our church's children's Christmas Eve service. Hopefully that'll all be done by Monday. Logan yeah, comes home no, on Tuesday. And then... Christmas Eve Eve, what are we doing? Christmas Eve Eve, I'll be finishing up any last minute stuff in the office. You guys will, I don't know what you'll, what you'll do. I hope we but, did the um, scouting one again. That was fun. Because Logan will be here and Nate will be here. Hopefully. Yep. But we are planning to do our Christmas special starting at some point Christmas Eve. And then running through at least until about noon on year. Christmas. It's only gonna be one video. Yeah, we're gonna do one video Christmas Eve. Like I said, we'll start picking up sometime in the afternoon, and we'll go straight through till maybe Christmas. I don't know, sometime Christmas afternoon. Because it's gonna be different this year. We're actually having a, a sit-down Christmas dinner yeah. instead of just the like just the appetizers that we have traditionally done. You don't like it? I, I like it. I, mean, I think you guys are old enough now that. It's time for us to move beyond the the appetizers and into a meal. I don't care how old my kids get, we're having appetizers. Oh, we'll still have a few appetizers, but we will also have a sit-down dinner for the very first time in a very well. Actually, it'll be the first time. Probably since like Logan. Yeah, I think since Logan was born, I we've done appetizers one. every single year. And uh, I'll, I'll explain all that when we get to the time to talk about that, why we chose to do that for so long. All right, that's going to do it for us tonight. Thanks so much for checking in. Make sure you're still following along with our um, daily Vlogmas as we count down to Christmas with our Lego Star yeah. Wars Advent Calendar. And I have an Instagram app, so. Oh, well, I'm not going to post that up there, but if you follow us on Instagram, you'll be able to follow Brea on Instagram as well. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, oh, and stay tuned because we're almost to the point. Christmas doors. Are we? It's coming up. Right it's now. coming up quick. So, and we want to give you a quick update on our house decorating. I've been saving video clips of what we're doing around the house Mine to decorate. Looking pretty tired. Yep. Yours, you, I have those clips. We're going to put them together. And we're just going to go around and show you all of our decorations. thought that would be fun too. All right, seriously, that's it for now. This thing is loud. Got to go. Have a good night. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next time. We're back here at Life in the High Mouse. Doodles.